any, run the game. You can't beat me in any sport. I don't know about that, fam. I, I know about that. Right, oh, this is why you guys might have to have a face off I know about on the PS5 right, and on the court. You That's might have fine. to settle this. I know I'm not good at the games in real life. It doesn't I matter. Do. You got to do it because you challenge I, them to the sports. That's you fine. guys have to do one for one, bro. That's fine. You got to do video games and you got to do real life. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. I want to see this. And we're back. It's your boy X, RIP MX on everything social. Castro Nero 88 on Instagram. Money Mitch, 54X Mitch on Instagram. And we are on Common Sense. Welcome back, guys. For today's question, I got something for you guys. I was debating this yesterday. Tell me how you feel about this. So now, are you guys, do you guys consider <coughs> esports as sports? No. Esports mean video games. Yes. No, nigga, that's a video no. game. Okay, so you consider esports not a sport, but it's no. it's esports. <laughs> what? It's called esports, nigga. Okay, so I understand what the name of it is. The name of it is esports. Right. Is it a sport? No. Okay. What's your vote on this? No. It's a you, competition. Okay. Is golf a sport? Barely. But I'll give them more credit than esports. No, 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 no. Yes or no? Is golf a sport? Is golf a sport? See, look how this I'm gonna say you yes. Guys. I'm gonna say yes. I'm okay. gonna say yes. So too. I'm gonna say yes. we have golf, but esports is not a sport. Golf esports is a sport. not a sport. No, it's darts a sport. Tio, these bar games, man. It's crazy. No, <laughs> no, no. But there's professional darts competition. Is, darts is a sport. Darts is a sport. I'm gonna so give it a sport. So you're giving darts so, over. Okay, watch. If I have, if, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> if I'm giving golf a sport, yeah. then darts has to be a sport because both of them require a high level of skill but very minimal athleticism. So if you're gonna give golf uh, a bly, then darts has to get a bly because fam, you're basically execute. It's like the same shit, fam. Both of them have the same physique. Both okay. of them are the okay, same so age. Yeah, like you said, so it requires a high level of skill with minimal athleticism. Yeah, but esports don't. It's virtual skill. It's not in the real world. But you need a computer and a device. The man's really throwing the dart. Okay, he can okay, really okay. hit that target in real life. Device. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's Formula One a sport. Yeah, but it's a device in a car. No, nah, but it's an athletic performance as well. You lose a lot of weight when you're um when you're a ra race car driving at that really? four. Yeah, when they're driving that fast, in order to turn the car <laughs> and shit. <laughs> no, nah, I see. I seen a thing on it. So in order for them to turn the car at them speeds and shit, it takes a lot of strength, a lot of endurance, and it's very hot inside the vehicle. There's no AC in the vehicle because the the car is only designed for racing. They don't got none so of them extra luxury. Injury. You're in there hot as fuck, buddy. In that leather. The suit. man them lose between like five to like eight pounds. In a in a in a in one of those races. So five to it, eight pounds per race? Yeah, fam. So the amount of math to be in tip. I fat one. There's no fat I ain't never seen a fat race car driver before, bro. Those guys are all in good shape, bro. And I seen one where, um, I forgot the name of the game. It's not Gran Turismo, but it's one similar to it. Gran Torino. What? I don't even think. Is that a game? That's a car. That's not even. Yeah, I'm like, that's not, that's not a game. You're just saying stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a movie with Clint Eastwood. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dismounted, yeah. Sorry. Completely, bro. Just scrambled <laughs> you me. Thought but you yeah. were wrong for a second. <laughs> Basically, they took like the top players of that video game and then brought them to a facility to teach them how to actually Was like race speed? cars. Nah, I don't remember it. <clears throat> I don't remember I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a uh, it was like a reality show. So there's like contests, like they competed and shit. Oh, okay, like the okay. youths had to get in shape and all types of shit, bro. So cool. yeah. Moving forward, do we feel like pool is a sport? Billiards, 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 billiards. Damn. Pool. Are these all? I figure like I they're got, all in the a, same category. Yeah, I'm gonna have no, to no, give no, it a no. sport. It's I'm a sport, a, but because it's, it's falling into the same thing, high level it's of a skill. Sport? Yeah. Is archery a sport? Archery. Yeah. Yeah. Is cheerleading a sport? In the states. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Niggas don't cheerlead in Canada. Yo, bro? they don't. It's not as big. I know what you mean. I, yo, listen. Right. All the cheerleaders yo. I knew were trash. No offense to that. And like, two, yo. you're going to high school in Toronto. Like, most of us, like, the cheerleading thing's not even a big deal. The sporting events are not a big bro, deal. Bro, there was no bring it on. Like, depends what school you go to. Whereas in America, it's, like, standard issue. If there's a football game or a basketball game, 
Like, bro, it's a big thing for the majority Fam, of those there schools. There was no so. bring it on in, in, over here. Yeah, and they have big, big cheerleading competitions. And there's beer athleticism involved. The Yadamar are flipping. And, and That's what I'm the saying. The Yadamar are throwing, throwing them up in the air. They like have the practice. Whole, they hold, they so hold practices. The whole thing is athletics, so, though. So quantifiably, you, 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 you define sports that require a level of athleticism? athleticism? Or skill. High or level skill. both. Okay. E, one so or, no, I just want to bring yeah. it back because like, if you Google the definition, I Google is esports sports seed. They say many consider this esports a form of sports due to its competitive nature and physical demands esports involve playing video games um very competitively against others either online or in person i said it's a competition it's not a sport there's they, no they athleticism involved it, yeah, but that, yeah but there's no athleticism in darts but that there's a high e level of real life skill so is there in esports no virtual skill you can't actually whatever you just performed on the screen you can't go do it in real life my man really threw the dart like that and hit the target it's really happening i'm just saying what so, google said but that's but yeah, I think just that E alone puts it in his own category. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, the, so the word sport after does it just gets dismantled because the E was there? But what's yeah. the e, what's the E stand for? It's virtual. Electronic? I'm assuming. So. Virtual meaning it's artificial. You're not really doing that. Yeah, bro. so I'm assuming like that's its own category of that. Like So when niggas virtually golf, they're not virtually they're not playing a sport? No. You're virtually playing a sport. It's virtual. So all your credit is virtual. It's not real. Like you don't you know if you're hitting the you ball. You can't go hit the golf course and compete with the man. But even if you're swinging a real club that's with sensors and monitors on it, that's actually if meant you, to gauge no, the actual. No, because when you go and hit the golf course, you're, just, is, you're not you're not performing like the rest of these guys. So they have to get a different type of credit. They're doing something different than what you're doing. That's a sport. You're playing a video game. And do like, you, there's different type of like do you consider golf clubs. Do you consider shooting guns a sport? Yeah. So no athleticism, but high level of skill, and it's a real thing. And concentration and skill, yeah. Yeah, and it's a com like it, there. It is a competitive sport. They got competitions and all type of shit. I don't know. Like it's kind of wild to see, even say that people that compete, especially at very high levels of esports, don't can like don't have skill. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like, say you don't have skill. I said you have a virtual skill. It has to be a applicable in the real world. You only have dominance in a virtual setting. We live in the real world. You're playing a video game. I mean, a lot the of The matter are playing sports. Are, for argument's sake, a lot of people live online. I don't care. Just I'm saying. with Mitch. I know you guys don't care, but yo, these are big. No, no, but like we, we online and reality have a distinction. But yeah, one is online. It's also so, yo, because hold on, we play hold on, sports. One is reality. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I think it's because we play sports. It's also hold on, because hold on, like okay, well, hold on, there's this. different words. That's nothing to do with fab. Because you play sports and then be a, a, a definition or, or they're, they're not Yeah, synonymous. my personal bias is irrelevant to the yeah, situation. Yeah, synonymous to one another. What I'm stating is, one is in a virtual setting. We have already differentiated between the real world and the internet. But it requires... So if a, your okay, skill but, set only exists in on the okay, internet... So what about like... It's not real. What about when people do the drone flying competitions? You're really flying that drone. Okay, but nonetheless, you can still take it. I don't it's with know a controller about now. That, though. See, that, yeah, that, that, that's I don't. The know. same concept could be applied. Like even though the drones, like you could still, if a man's using his controller to perform in Call of Duty, he could. You know, I swear, a man's get drafted for that. No, if you if you perform too high in Call of Duty, they'll draft you. They'll follow. Let me ask you a question. No. Yeah, cause you don't like where it's about <laughs> yeah, to go. That's like why, smile. but it's gonna happen anyway. So yo, you're telling me this with the controller is the same as me with a rifle. That has an amount of weight on it. That when I fire the trigger, it's gonna push my shoulder back. You're telling me holling the controller emulates the same thing. <laughs> you yeah, that. you did. You just said man's get drafted into the army based yeah, on yeah, the performance of Call of Duty. No. Drafted into the army. You operating a, a PS4, a <laughs> PS5 controller and operating a firearm is way different. Yeah, so, but I didn't say no. they're getting drafted for that. They're drone operators, fam. Drone, yeah, yeah. Um for aviation. And even um, some levels of virtual racing is Basically, very, very similar to skill, real life. No, but his skill set and his proficiency... It's transferable. Navigating on the controller yeah. is transferable that, to real life. That, but that's the only one. But that, The that, other examples that you no, provided no. are not. I didn't provide any example besides esports. Yeah, the other esports that you provided what? are not transferable. Just because you're good at Call of Duty doesn't mean you can operate a firearm. But if you can operate I the didn't say that. virtual, I, just said, I said you. I'll, I never once said he was good at um, Call of Duty, so he's good at firearms. I said the skill set is transferable. He utilizes his controller. His controller capabilities can be transferred in other aspects that we translate into real life. Only in aviation. I mean, like, yo, if a man has, I don't see how we can only in put aviation that to a real gun. But yo, like, I'm, like, and I'll give that so what the do you credit. Think? So, 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 do you think what's a more proficient skill set? The ability to throw a dart 
or the ability to operate something it may be translating to it's aviation. irrelevant what, what's more proficient we're talking about what's a sport and what's not a sport proficiency is a whole different argument yeah but i'm just so saying. it doesn't matter all i'm saying is <laughs> all these you're people, saying is what bro <laughs> these people consider their thing a sport and mitchell's are respected apparently well you asked because you, you, you just changed us, the parameters of the argument talking about we, proficiency we're talking about we. if it's a sport yeah that's the debate proficiency is a different argument we didn't ask how proficient you are at it. We asked, is it a sport or well, is it not a sport? No, because no. My answer is no. I, the reason I, I even went and the, the in terms of the military thing, the only thing that's transferable is aviation because the same technology they used to train train you on a plane, mm -hmm. like it's a virtual device. So mm -hmm. you, like there's like basically when you it's a learn simulation. Yeah, so learning yeah. how to fly a drone is very similar to learning how mm -hmm. to like fl fly like a plane or a helicopter or other mm -hmm. types of things, you know, like the technology that they use is pretty similar. So if you know how to fly a drone or some of those aviation video games, you're really good at it, your ass kind of knows how to fly a plane mm -hmm. because it's the same technology. So that's transferable. But a firearm, uh, basketball, soccer, any other sport, like fam, you're operating a controller that does not have any know. relevance in real life. I know a lot of niggas that <clears throat> play 2K that feel like they're the guy on the court, you know. But they're not. Yeah, they're sick on the 2K. I'm just saying, niggas feel like their 2K skills are transferable. <laughs> Yo, bro. This no, bro. bro there's <laughs> stop, bro. Stop. You don't there's know grown men stuff. that feel like they're Every grown women. Every nigga that plays soccer, I don't thinks know. Thinks they're the nicest at FIFA. Why? Because they know which team to pick. Like, you know which team to pick. There's an amount of knowledge that can be applied. Like, if you know how to play this sport, and when you go play the game, if you relatively know the controls. You can do use some of the same tactics, but execution is far different because when I kick a ball in soccer, I'm using my foot. When I kick it in FIFA, I'm using my thumb. Like those are two different things. So they cannot be transferable. You're not respecting people's skills. I never seen a man go from a FIFA competition to the World Cup. I never seen it yet. Not yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But have you seen a man from the World Cup win a FIFA competition? No, they're not the same thing. So that, I mean, that actually just supports my argument. They're two separate things. One is virtual and one is real. got this man in soccer mode, eh? I mean, he gets, he gets off on that. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, say, man. Yo, you said we have to take a quick jab before you got to the next one? <laughs> I was like, I lost, but fuck this guy. <laughs> a quick win before we continue. Well, uh, I didn't lose. I was just so what's, what's your opinion? Because you sound what? like you're in favor of it being a sport. No, no, I'm playing, playing devil's, devil's advocate. advocate. I'm playing devil's advocate. All right. Fuck, I didn't know what you guys were going to say. I'm playing devil's advocate. So you're, the, <laughs> so you're a sick man in Smash Brothers. That's you in real life? Yeah, sick man all the time. Yo, bro, next topic. You crazy. Next, next topic, bro. Next topic, bro. Marvel's next topic, What do you want to play, fam? <laughs> but I know you're not what? athletic in real life. Fam, all right, fam, if you feel so. So you can slap me in 2K. In real life, nigga, you're not winning. Fam, okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, yo, he's kind of wants to I'm win something so bad. Like, fam, That's what win, I'm saying. Win, fam. Uh, any, like, win. You can't beat me in any video game. That's oh, fine. That's crazy. But that, no, but that's you guys fine. have to have a show now. But that's right. Hold on. No, that's any fine. Game? Because you can't beat fam, me in any. Run the game. You can't beat me in any sport. I don't know about that, fam. I, I know about that. Right, fam. Oh, this is wild. You guys might have to have a face off I know on the PS5 right, and on the court. You that's might have fine. to settle this. I know I'm not good at the games in real life. It doesn't matter. You got to do it because you challenge them to the sports. You guys have to do one for one, bro. You got to do video games and you got to do real life. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see this. Yeah, 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 fam. You do some boxing if you want, you know what I mean? Like, all right, nigga, you, you think this is fucking fight I, night? I, I, I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever night? game you play, you got to do the virtual and the real one. So you guys got to fight and fight night the video game, then you got to go and box. I'll do it. We can do that. <laughs> like, we can do that. You got to play 2K, that. then we you actually got to go play like 21 or some shit. We can do that. I'm just saying, fam. Yeah, yeah, I want to see that. That's, that's, that's link up. I like that that's one. I like that one. Anyhow, I'm moving forward. You guys have any other topic? I mean, any other words you would like to get off in regards to this topic? No, no, no. All right. <clears throat> in recent news, I've noticed Vivica A. Fox, well, fuck it. I haven't noticed. She put it out there. <laughs> Viv a, Vivica A. Fox is ready to settle down and find love at the tender age of 60 years tender. old. Tender is a wild adjective. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. <laughs> How do the man them feel? About oh, settling dude. to find the man of your dreams, the man that'll take care of you and put up with everything you have to offer at the age of 60 years old. Are you looking for your woman in her 60s? What? No. But Vivica got, Vivica's in a different Even if I'm 60, 60s. I'm hoping I already have my woman. I don't even yeah. want to be on the market like that. I want to be at home. I don't want to see what Vivica A. Fox looks like right now. Uh, I already seen, I already seen it. Put it up I there. seen it. I don't know. Jace, can we expand this a little bigger? 
There's oh, Bivica. She looks rough, you know. No, no, let's do before and after. Before and... <laughs> Yo, you're a mean guy. <laughs> after. Oh, Lee. No, I was on Instagram. I seen him before and after. Somebody else already did this. Yeah, and it was yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like they took the first picture and just like inflated it. Yo, just blew the second it up. picture looked crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yo, if she was your high school crush and then she wanted to link you now, you'd be nothing but disappointed. You'd, be, you'd feel disrespected. Disrespected. Like it would Winslow? be like further than disappointment. Like Laura Winslow. <laughs> I mean, like an insult. That's crazy. So, yes. How do we feel about this? And what my real question is, well, aside from like how we feel about it, do you think that this and her coming out and doing this kind of like, you know, oh, I'm ready for love now, will influence or inspire or have an impact on women of the generations? On sure. uh, women? Yes. Do you think, it, you know how like nah. there's a whole independent women movement going on right now? Like, oh, a lot of, okay, so one, women are choosing to start families later. Women are choosing, like, you know, um, a lot of women in recent years, especially in North America, are choosing to pursue a career and basically put family and everything aside secondary yeah, right yeah, yeah. do you think that this would reinforce this or put a halt on that or kind of like give it a kickback i don't think she's influential enough right now to have an impact like she hasn't really done nothing relevant because remember vivica a fox she was she back was in the now, day she back was somebody in the day, she was somebody but like remember she was with everybody and they're like Influence is also like a what have you done for me lately type of situation. Well, she has startled you know? us with her appearance. <laughs> I don't even think it's... Yeah, situation. lately you've scared people, okay? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> beyond that, you know, I don't know. Usually usually when people have influence, it's because they're very relevant to the culture right now. She's just not like the most in the spotlight. Well, like, she came up on so, my feed. But, well, she's still famous, but she's not very influential. She's famous enough that if she does something, we'll right. report on it. Do but think, it doesn't mean that people will move on it, yeah. you know? Do you think that her coming out in, like, in this fashion would justify this kind of behavior to other women, say, that are like following a similar type of lifestyle? Again, because of, like I don't think she's the most influential, so I don't think she'll have a major impact. However, like the sentiment behind what she's displaying... Uh, I think it actually supports the opposite. Like, yo, find you a man earlier. Like, she been, yeah. like, she been on the mod tip. Like, she she was with Fifty at a point. Like, how'd you fumble that? Like, Fifty's a guy. You know what I mean? He went like this. He went like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you could have been more focused on like, you know, settling down and shit from time. Why would you wait so long? Now you're sixty. You look well. It's off the screen, but she looks visibly different than she did before. You know, this doesn't look like a favorable outcome. You know. Yo, yo, she just looks like a grandparent now. It's crazy. I just yo, know, yeah, I'm ready for my not, first husband. It's not, now. it's not. I don't think that's the life she wanted to live. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think I, if she had, I don't even know, cause she was probably playing the cards like, yo, she doesn't want nobody either. But then it got to a point where like, yo, I'm just dragging it, and now that she wants to be, settle down, it's like, well, I, th I think like. Bro, when you make certain decisions, it's just harder to get what you want, you know. And like exactly. how she been living, like, and I don't know everything about her life, but like to like the way that she's described, you know, it's like she was she was living a hot girl lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You and could have stopped before sixty. Yeah, you could have stopped at forty. <laughs> you, it, know you know it's fucked up. Like I feel like things were going downhill when she started getting her face done. I'm like. Mm -mm. I Some, don't like when anybody there. starts doing things yeah. to their face. Especially because she's a pretty woman. She started off being a very, like, pretty woman. So she was known for why her would you do something to your <sighs> face? You know what it is, though? That means something is wrong up here, well, you know? It's not even necessary. Like, you have to understand. So, <clears throat> And that's why I think that the Instagram thing and the whole, like, the, the glamorization of pictures and filters and all that, like, people try to make their face look like stuck in a moment. You go know what I'm saying? So it's like when you get these Botox or you get Stuck these figures, like, no, no, no. That's how I look. Yo, I sat there and I'm like, what the Yo, fuck does I'm he like, mean? No, that's a real, that's a Just real Just frozen. Thing. No, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. like, think about it. Think about how all these people, like, they get their face, like, to an expression where it looks smooth and they're like, they can't even cry. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. They, I, in my, and like, this could be a completely wrong theory, but I, this is what I see. I think even with the big lips, you want to get out them see their lips and they don't realize how their lips look from 360. They just look at themselves in the mirror like, oh, my shit look good. They're stuck in that like picture. You know what I mean? The picture of the image they see in the mirror, but they don't see their, I don't know, like you're not really aware of what it actually looks like. So I don't know. In my perspective, stop sticking up your face and making it. People that just keep getting shit done to their face remind me of people that's got a bunch of bumper stickers on their car like you don't know when to just leave shit alone like why did you why did you put all this here you know okay you know what though okay why, I would, why the fuck like, did you I do i see that? what you did there but i can't really like i would say the bumper sticker thing would be like people that get overly tatted for example you just keep tatting yourself you're overly you're, surgeried why no, no, did you no. do that but the thing about it this would is just like, make more sense than tatted man i feel you. 
Like I feel you. Like you're, you're. Like I I feel you mean on the tatted because you marked up your 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 surface. The thing is with this. With, with with these surgeries, the cosmetic surgery, there's no yeah. marking. It's just it's just botching. This is like adding body kits to your car. But um, yes, that's a, that's a better observation. It might that sounds better. Okay, yeah, you got a perfectly good car, and, and you, you just you keep lowered shit it on it. Mm-hmm. You fucking put a fucking tail on it, a new spoiler. And you keep you, thinking it's gonna look all good. these trims, bro. That just, just make it, it loud. It looks no cheaper reason. and cheaper every time you do <laughs> yeah. something to basically. it. Basically, because yeah. the original model was about as good as it was supposed to look. You know what I mean? Well, basically, what I was getting at. Yeah, right? like. It, but, it's crazy how the original model is probably worth more. Yeah, you you just devalued like, it just, every time you did something to that shit, it? you know? And I don't know why people don't see it that way. I don't know what it is that they're chasing. I feel like you they should just be content with cars. how you look. <laughs> well, they are. People, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy because a lot of the guys that not be doing these things to their face, name themselves after cars. You know what I'm saying? That's Man. crazy. Lexus, Mercedes. <laughs> Holy yeah, that fuck. shit is crazy. <laughs> we just knew the same girl. <laughs> like, we know the same girl. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even a strip club. It's a car factory. <laughs> and a Ferrari. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> coming to the stage. Maserati. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, coming to the stage is crazy. I just backed up. <laughs> no, that's, that's does does crazy. Porsche get a round of applause when she enters? Big she, Porsche. I Why mean, she gotta be big? She gotta be little Porsche. Big Porsche, that's crazy. Since so the Cayenne, Cayenne, it's the Cayenne. She got wide body. Eh? That's crazy. <laughs> she can't sit here. That's crazy. <laughs> she can't exit up herself. She has to act her size. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's called. Oh, Holy. Shout out, Mr. Lewin. Anyhow, moving forward. Wait, wait, pause. Do we have any other? Do we have any other thoughts uh, about the Magnum? I mean, about the Gautam trying to find love at sixty years old. I know, yeah, read I, it. I, and if your life came to this. That that does suck, and I don't care what you have to say to me. I mean, it's obviously not favorable. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like if that's the case, that that should only be happening if like maybe you had a relationship and the person died or something, and now you're like widowed. But like at sixty, it's not ideal to be a bachelor to be single at sixty. That's a lot of self. That's not a, that's not ideal. I don't think for life it feels like that's man or woman. Yeah. You know, that's not that's a lot. Especially lonely. when you're up. You want to because like now you feel like what's wrong with me. Because I'm not gonna lie, if you were poor and lonely, it'd probably be worse. Yeah, but when you're just up add and, poor to anything and it's worse. Yeah, now. but think about it. Like you're poor and lonely, you're like, okay, yo, whatever. This is like I can only do so much. But when you're up, it's like I can do so much. But as a woman, being up don't matter because like money's not really an attraction for men. Like men. But no, like, it doesn't matter. That, I know that, some niggas get horny for money. But see the thing the is the majority? Is, but see the thing is, I know. Has yeah. that been a deciding factor for you and your selection I'm thus far these, in life? I'm not these niggas. Okay, so why are you speaking for them? Because they exist, and I know a couple of them. Okay, but other than majority, yo, honestly, it's more than you'd probably like to comfortably uh, admit. How many out of ten? How many guys out of ten do you think are focused on on a woman's finances when they're selecting? Six. You think six out of ten? I think that yo, a lot. Sixty percent of men are are using no, money as the uh, deciding factor. I think that like yo, if a man sees an opportunity for a woman, like, I want I a number. I guess six, <laughs> six men. I want a number. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to say six. So 60% of men think that finances are, are a deciding factor on whether they're going to be with a woman or not. You don't want yourself a broke bitch. And on top of that, if you see a woman with a good, that's up or she has, like, for example, like, boom, I got Bredgens. Like, he, 60%? No, no. Think about it. Think about it, though. I have a Bredgen, no. for example. He was with his girl, obviously, beforehand. But, like, yo, fam, she was becoming a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Like, while they're together, they're in the process. Because she's like, no, he, a big factor is, like, yo, my woman is going to make a lot of change. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, that's not the whole totality of why I love this woman. But, like, yo, it's a good factor when especially establishing <laughs> partnership. I didn't say it wouldn't be a benefit. I said, would it be the deciding factor? And you said 60% Like, yo, I, 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 I can be. almost assure you, like, let me, like, I hope, I'll, don't shoot me for this nigga if you hear me. But, um... If his girl worked at McDonald's and spent all that year doing something like uh, remedial, I'm pretty sure he might not be with her still. So and I'm you gonna think fi- that's the same for 60 percent of guys. They'll be like, "Nah, you don't make enough money. I'm not talking to you." You think that's talking what- to and then actually wanting to choose up? I don't know. Like I know to like, be with them. Like you, even niggas in my don't exact make enough job. money to be with me. You think six out of ten men are looking at women that have a job that makes less than them? They're like, "You're, you're not pulling your weight enough. I'm not fucking with you." Yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with don't that agree at all. That. I think you just didn't want to be wrong, and you're gonna stand on. I'm never happy you're doing. And you're gonna, you're no, just gonna you keep said, standing you said, on. No, this. man, I'm like, you know what, fam? I know some niggas that. that and I fast. asked you how many, and you had the audacity to tell me six out of ten. Man, six I, out and of I more. asked you to repeat it. I'm like, you sure about that? I knew ten niggas. I'm like, oh, six out of ten. Six out of ten on someone's couches. Six out of ten, man. 
<laughs> Someone's coach is crazy. <laughs> Six out of ten is turning down a woman if she doesn't make enough money for him. No, for him. <laughs> I don't think niggas don't even have options bro, like this, bro. I think, it's a, this, I think bro. It's a factor, bro. More so than anything, like I definitely think that, like, <clears> fam, <throat> I I've seen a lot, especially in my own family, where it's like, yo, guys, bro, she's up, yo, you gotta read that, you gotta get with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nobody said having <laughs> money was a bad thing. <laughs> I said, would it be a deciding factor? Now, if the woman does have a lot of money, obviously that'll be a bonus. But if she doesn't and she's attractive, you think niggas are like, no, 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 she's broken, she's dusty. Well, how many, how many men do you think out of ten would cite finances as the deciding factor and the whether they will be with crazy. a woman? I, said I asked was, you the same question. I said it was a factor. I'll say four. I said the deciding I'll say factor. Four. Now you're changing it. I say four. Okay, four. Two yeah. niggas off. I don't even that. think four. It's still one's a majority and one's not, so there's a big difference. But I don't I'll even think it's four. I think I'll it's like two. Four. Well, you think it's two niggas? Yeah. Out of uh, ten? Yeah. That's that's. Crazy. I'm saying four. Like, like I gotta say, fam, I think there's a lot more men out here that are just like, yo, for shorties up, fam, and make sure look, fam, a lot. How many shorties? She are don't even, even up? have to be up, bro. She just she, has her to family be... could be up, fam. It doesn't Most even. People are not even up. She just gotta be doing something. Man will accept Yeah, she got to be doing something. Man will accept a woman that just I didn't works. say she has to be like you know dusty I mean? doing nothing. Yeah. But we're talking about if like if her money is a deciding factor. As long as she can take care of herself, I think most guys don't care. That's I didn't say she's on the fucking corner begging change. That's crazy. But as long as she can take care of herself, that's fine. But that money still doesn't affect me. It's only maintaining her. You're not I don't those benefit niggas, from just it. Like you're, just like myself, you're not those niggas, bro. And like, I'm just saying they exist. You're telling, me, you. you're telling me you don't know no brethren's. That if a fat thing wanted to... So, wow, I'm so crude. If a fat thing wanted to take care of them, but she was up, they wouldn't they, they, they wouldn't be over there? Nah, not my homies. Nah, fam. None not for homies. an extended period. Not for a real relationship. Like, a man might make her buy him <laughs> Yo, a couple I, things. I graduated from those brethren's. Yo, if that's what you're doing still, no, that's you're not That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the average, the average man's not living that. like that. Like, he might, he might even exploit her temporarily for a couple of things, but to... Like actually maintain a lengthy relationship with the woman? Hurting. No, fam. No, not in the same degree as women will do it to a man. There's yep. women that would be like, he ain't all that, but he's taking care of me. I'm here. Like, bro, men aren't really operating like that by and large. You yeah. haven't even operated like that. You got so much confidence in this. You don't even exercise these things. <laughs> Speaking of lack of yeah. exercise, <laughs> I got something for you guys. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's change it. Let's gosh. change it. We're talking about lack of exercise, right? All right, cool. Have you guys seen Lizzo recently on South Park? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hilarious. Let me see if I can pull up the Big clip. up South Park. <laughs> James? Big up, eh? Big up Big South, up South Park. Park. So, yo, right the here. big jokes. We have Lizzo <laughs> reacting to her appearance on South Park. I feel like I'm about to buy I've me a Lizzo. Reference to a South Park episode. Ooh. I'm so scared. I'm going to blind duet to it right now. Here we go. Watching Brandy go out and exercise all the time and not eating as much? But I just don't have the same kind of willpower he has. Which of the drugs are you on, Sharon? Zempic, Manjaro? Oh no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. But if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with people? It's Lizzo. FDA approved Lizzo. <laughs> Even the song is crazy. <laughs> it's Lizzo. <laughs> I've lowered my standards and my expectations. It's Lizzo. <laughs> Yo, South Park. Oh, yo. For the W again. <laughs> Her album, oh my god. The fucking album! <laughs> Are you living with concerns of obesity? Ask about the power of not giving a fuck with Lizzo. That's crazy. I just feel like, damn, I'm really that bitch. I'm really that bitch. I really showed the world how to love yourself and not give a fuck to the point where these men in Colorado know who the fuck I am and put it on their cartoon that's been around for 25 years. I'm really that bitch and I'll show y'all how to not give a fuck and I'm gonna keep on showing you how to not give a fuck. Oh, 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 Lizzo, bitch. 
So I talk. feel like if she didn't really, if she didn't give a fuck, she wouldn't have made that video. She wouldn't have made that, but you know she wouldn't have. First off, it's all funny. Or she would have been laughing with it, like, yo, these niggas are actually funny, you know? I figure like, she's smart for doing what she did. She got to it before they can get to her. No, nigga. She, nah. No, you know what I mean? Like, before people could roast her, like... She getting roasted right now. No, she like, roasted. bro, it's just like, but she's not, like, she's actually like, oh, like, this is good. She's not... Sad about it. She's Damn, she's I don't think that For was me, genuine. That, yeah, she's that, owning that was it, a gen- that was, that was genuine. Owning it. Fam, I didn't that was a cap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I personally did not take that as ownership of the thing. Like, oh, that's sick. I'm on South Park. Like, I didn't take it as that. I took it as wow. Like, she looked kind of hurt. She never expressed any happiness in her body. Not language. at all. At and all. in fact, like the way she did it, she's like, I'm that bitch. I'm that. It's yeah. like very deflective. But she's yeah. always doing that. No, she's like. But then she's always unhappy. Fam, do you think <laughs> like, she's over there? Like, like. Okay, I'm not going to tell her she doesn't love herself. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if she really loved herself, deeply, That video was, an, was not an expression of self-love. Thank you. It that was, video was an expression of these guys are trying to make fun of me, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing anyway. And I don't hate it. I don't hate it. You that's gotta, fine, but nothing, I don't, th- I don't think she's hate. genuinely owning mm-hmm. it. I feel like she's upset and there's not much she can say about it, so she made that video. If she didn't care, I think she would have laughed along with it. Or 100%. she wouldn't have made a video at all. Exactly. Fat thing about it. would have been like, oh, these guys make fun of me, whatever. And yeah, if you're but- actually a fan of South Park, even the way she addressed it, these guys from Colorado that have a show for 20 years know who I am. Like, fat, you're, you're, come on. Like, the way, the whole way you presented it, it seems like it's from a place of kind of hurt, but you're trying to deflect it and kind of just like, you know, like, I'm not fat. I'm big and beautiful. You can't tell me It's like when people nothing. lose a game, like, I wasn't even trying anyway. That's exactly what that was. Okay, yes. That's I exactly wasn't even trying. Was. It's like, then why did you play? Why did you play? With your bitch ass. Why did you even play? I hated kids like that when I was a you. I hated those kids. Right? She seemed a little salty to me, and that's fine. But, yo, it was funny. Okay, so what if South Park put us on the episode? I big up South Park because I think it's funny. I, I am a fan of South Park, so I would think... Okay. Anything... That's what I know. No, no. But watch this, though. If I genuinely liked it... My mm-hmm. video wouldn't look like that. Hundred percent. I would probably be laughing off the jump of already being fucking yeah. mentioned because I'm like, nigga, I've been watching. And this I'd be as a saying kid. like supportive things like, well, yo, shout out these guys. Though. Like, yo, well, I that's like. That's just how she, her reaction. Yeah, it was an upset reaction. That wasn't happiness. I've Th- seen this bitch act happy yo, before. Yo, that number hilarious. That, that was, that was not yo, happiness, bro. The way you bro. two link up on hatred, I, yo, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, <laughs> yo, no, no, no. The man are linking up on the truth. Bro, and the truthfully, you she got, was yo, not happy in that you video. You saw happiness in that video? Come Fam, on, bro. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah? Fam, she has I'm no trying benefits. to use my eyes. And my eyes are telling me that she's not happy Fam, in that nothing video. nothing about her. Her whole face is like this the whole time. Watch this. Watch this. If your girl was talking to you like that, would you think that she's happy about whatever she's talking to you about? I don't chill with Lizzo. I don't know how she is. No, he didn't ask no, that. No, that's though. not he what said, I asked you. He asked you. I said, your if your girl, girl exhibited that body language mm-hmm. while expressing anything to you, would you think that she's happy? Would I think that she's happy? Yes. Would you think that she's happy when she looks like that and sounds <laughs> that was, like that? That was the question. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, bro, don't I do mean, that. Yo, that's don't how you're do feeling that. today? <laughs> that's how you're feeling today? All while right. she's telling you that she's happy, she's using the words. And yes, I'm happy, but her body language looks like that. Would you believe her? If she's a fan of South Park, yeah. No, that's not I what didn't, he's I didn't saying, add no bro. other you're caveats. You're, answering, you're answering like Lizzo right now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. See why we linked up? That <laughs> <laughs> side of the couch just unreasonable. We trying to link up, bro. <laughs> Oh no no nah, no! The tell me I sound like Liz was crazy. Like I, I had to think. I had to chill for a second. Chill for a sec. You're kind of cold side and you're like, yo, she's happy. She's happy. I'm you see her? You see her? You don't see the happiness? I'm not saying she's happy. happy. I'm not saying she's happy, but she didn't know. She didn't take it as bad as like. That but she's salty. saying that she is though. She's saying like, oh, like look, I, I made it on the show. She's acting like it's an accomplishment, but she looks very miserable Fam, okay, about the accomplishment. Take on the pre- let's 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 unpack what was even happening in the thing. First off, they're calling. The opposite of Ozempic, the cheap version of Ozempic, is just not giving a fuck simply and eating and not caring. That is the cheap version. It's you, fucking hilarious. It's fucking <laughs> hilarious. It is funny. It's hilarious. One, because everyone's on Ozempic. Like, yo, just exercise and eat healthy. Stop fucking doing Ozempic. You don't have diabetes, first off. Secondly, if you can't afford Ozempic because you don't have diabetes, the alternative is Lizzo. Fam, they had her album played. Like, come on. You don't understand how... Like, that made if me laugh. If she really didn't give a fuck, she either would have laughed or never would have made that video. Bro. I agree. She I, made I that agree. video, and you could just see salt. Fam, there's so just much... her face just so salty, bro. Probably choked, but... Yeah, there's that's so the much point people I'm making. That have probably mixed South emotions. <laughs> oh, they're they not mixed, mixed, fam. Not they're mixed. very definitely bad. This is all it is. She's unhappy about that, bro. They use but her as... Free a free promo. 
She don't need no promo. Like she'll try as hell. But you know what though? No like, pun intended. Even in the deflection uh, attempt, that's some shit you might say like, "Yo, it's free promo. It's free promo." You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, "Yo," because she kind of did say that then. But like, yo, you're not happy about the way you were presented, and it was very evident based on the video. Your no. PR team would not so construct a promo like that. Positive, positively. When is she ever? Pardon, Pardon me? me. What? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was bad. We're not even helping. We're like. The fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, yo, yo the way you two niggas, yo, bro, I, well, that's when, crazy. When has she ever spoken about positively? When has she ever spoken about? Yeah. Uh, a lot of women speak about her positively and act like she's beautiful and like she's doing <laughs> yeah, a good thing. Rewind, rewind. I like how you said act rewind. like she's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Act, re- act re- like she's beautiful is crazy. Rewind, bro. Acting like she's beautiful yo, is crazy. Yo, I just being so honest, I didn't even realize what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, that was that's why I said rewind. That's why I said rewind. That was that's crazy. Because yeah, I really meant acting, and so I said it. Yeah, but like yeah. My whole thing about the whole self love image and the thing that she, I think that, like, don't get me wrong, I believe it is important to love yourself. I believe that the message that she's construing that it's okay to be a fat fuck, I think that is unhealthy and harmful. Okay? A healthy body is a happy body. That body is unhappy because it's unhealthy. I don't care what you tell me. Yo, right? what that body, gospel is this? That body is not operating at its full gospel capacity. of biology, bro. Yo. I'm just saying that body is not a healthy body. A it happy is not- body is a healthy body is sick. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, you're cooking today, bro. I'm just saying, like, yo, hey, if her bro. body was in top physical like performance, <laughs> she wouldn't look like that. She wouldn't look like that. And like, I, as a result of that, I feel like you would be happier. I feel so like you think you should be fine if she's skinny. What? Think she'd be what? <laughs> yo, why did Amanda look so like? Bro, what did what you say? Did you say? <laughs> do you, so do you think if she had a, a healthy body, would she be fit? I think if she put in the work to be fit, she could be. But I think that yo, it would take <laughs> a lot of work because of how much work she hasn't done. <laughs> yo, bro, bro, she don't even got to be the fittest. You could she just could be somewhere in the middle. That's an extreme. Yeah, like, like her oh. physique is very extreme. She could be somewhere so in the middle. This way, she can't be a baddie. I never said she couldn't be. Like, yo, you was crazy. I have, I have no idea. She, she, if she lost like hundred pounds, she looked like a whole different person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you know who did that? And like, I'm not gonna call him. A, I'm not gonna call him a baddie, but like, yo, there's a few people that did that. First off, so we're talking about big black women, Monique. Monique used to be super big. See? Yeah, she re- she held it down. She held it down. She for almost the made it proud to be big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then she recognized she had an issue, and she done slimmed down. Did you see her in BMF? Yeah, it did. She done lost some weight. I don't even business with yeah, nobody. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. don't tell me about that fat, big, black. That's a fat cop out. I might even have that. Even Fat Joe <laughs> named himself Fat Joe, fam. He went and did some exercise. Now he's like... Slim Joe looks funny. Slim Joe looks funny. I don't know. He looks funny. Yo, Slim Joe looks crazy. I like my, like my I feel like, yo, when you're that big, bro, you got to get D's. If you're going to make the transformation, you got to be D's now. Crazy you can't just, you can't just go to this. After years, you have to change. You have to cut out you have to change the fat. Your you have to cut out the fat part. You just yeah. Joe now. When unhealthy. Just was Joe's like, crazy. Joe. Just average Joe. you can't say Slim Joe. That's yeah. crazy. From fat Joe to average Joe kind of stuff. You might put the weight back on, bro. Same ordeal. I don't deal. even know. You ever watch Jonah Hill? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He lost, lost a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? He don't even look. That looks scary, though. He looks unhealthy. I'm not gonna lie to you. His weight loss. So is that a healthy? Because yo, he so didn't even get these. He just hold got on, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Marla. Jonah Hill's body healthy? Yeah, is that I mean, a healthy body? I think it's you healthier than his previous body. It, it, so like, it's healthier <laughs> because there's less weight on it. But the, the 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 sacrifice here was some of his funny went with some of his weight. He got less entertaining and less funny. He looks more stressed. He is more stressed, dark, and depressed. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, Doc, what's good? Fam? Yo, weight loss not even for everybody. So yeah. it seems Yo, like... this guy just did a whole bar just now. <laughs> like, Yo, he's stressed. Yeah, dark and depressed. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, Hold on. Yeah. It's, that's how'd you add all that? Dark and depressed? There. Damn. Oh, It's Lee. black coffee and cigarettes over there, bro. Coming like weight loss is not even for everybody. It's not yo for honestly if yo if you're fat and jolly, yo, Lizzo my bad still. You want to be fat and jolly, die by like heart problems and cholesterol, yo, do your thing. I was so or, aggressive. Or don't, or don't. Oh, I, I, or, or I didn't even know how to respond. I was like, hold on, hold on. You said so much, bro. Oh, or don't, man. don't listen to this guy. Yo, bro, I don't know. Live your life. All I know is happy people don't look like she did in that video. That's you know all saying? I would say. If she was genuinely happy, I don't think she would look like that. You know when she's happiest? Please tell us. <laughs> With a six piece and fries from Popeyes. Extra gravy. Extra gravy. So hold on, like now that she's rich, you think she still eats like Popeyes? You don't think she get like some rich nigga fries? Does that chicken? body look like it doesn't like Popeyes? That looks like a body that says no to Popeyes. <laughs> Bro, we always- Asking me if that body looks like it doesn't like Popeyes <laughs> is destructive and disrespectful. <laughs> 
Yo, you <laughs> like, guys I just want you to know that I, I had a hard time just acknowledging <laughs> what you said to me because it was that was verbal violence, bro. <laughs> like, I just my eyes, I don't know. My eyes were you, you gonna hit her next? Like what was that? <laughs> Yo, what was bro. Up with that, bro? that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they hit with a side so, of mac and cheese. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy shit. So you're abusive. Because, yo, the man's already lost and you're still hitting him. Like, yo, what's going on? But I'm just saying, she's rich. Maybe she will eat something a little fancier. But you know what? You, you won. You won. <laughs> cheese Popeyes, bro. You fucking won, bro. And it's fine. You go, you're coming in like Lizzo's attorney. And then they just say, on behalf of Lizzo and Zolf Love. The man would like you to do better. <laughs> like, like, the man would like you to do better. The man don't like your version of love, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Big so, up South Park. That's big up South Park. Park. Big up South Park and other place. Mm-hmm. Before I move on to other things, I'm going to kick it off to you guys. Someone hit me with something. Give me a question. Yeah. Oh, I going on. yeah I want to take a sip of sake. Yo, sip the sake. Fam. I'm sipping it. I'm sipping sip it. Sip the sake. What type of questions are we doing? Anyone that feel... Go, I have, my questions kind of all relate. Okay, I'll just do it. I'll saying do your one. questions I'll covered in like family. One. I'll do one. Yeah, yeah, they're linked up. You but know? Like, what, what, Lizzo and them? Like, no, 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 no. Just like, okay, when yeah, I ask yeah. one, there's going to be like a follow-up Okay, so he seems like he has a side question. Yeah, just we'll go. go. We'll hit your side question <laughs> before we go to your family-related questions. Have you ever taken one for the team? Oh, man. No. Holy, but... No. Miss Jeff? I don't think so. I'm not a take one for the I'm team I'm not a type take one for nigga. the team type guy. I'm the nigga that, like... I might that doesn't count. even mean she like, has to be crazy. It just means you just... Did you know, I, for the bridging. I've done a couple ones, but, like, it's almost like I'm occupying the other bridging while you get it in. But I'm not touching this woman. You're just occupying. I'm just keeping her out of your way. Did you let her hit your Because you're my dog, and I see you're <laughs> Yo, getting some yeah. action. I might let her touch the spliff. Like I'm being a this me being a team player. Right. I don't even want to get that, so, that's considered taking over. Or so, I've yo. even had one where it's like, we could do this, and she's like, not nah, really. And I'm like, I lie. Same so word. How did that <laughs> what do you mean? Because yo, her friend was freakier than her. Like we just like we went to a bar so, one hold day. Up, hold up, but why did she why did she breeze the man? Why did she breeze you? <laughs> I didn't ask. Like, do you oh, ever man. really ask? Like, yo, how come you're not giving me head in the back of the car? Like, I don't know. I didn't ask. Oh, was in the like, back no. of the car, yo, wow. Because yo, I don't even like, yeah, he um I was with my brad, we went to the bar. We end up linking two random catties at the bar. Boom, we cut. I don't know where we were even gonna go, but two twos, I guess, they're in the back seat and it's getting it's getting active. It's getting so I end up pulling up it's back by normal. by this girl's car. They get out, get in her whip, yeah, get busy. So I'm just like, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the mood's already set. You know what I'm saying? She's kind of like, mm, not really. And I'm like, oh, I lie. Did you have tunes playing? Probably I was in my car. More more like, like I was playing music. If you played the right music, did you just take out your wood drawer or not? Nah? Yo, Fram, that's nah, crazy. Nah, nah. Her body language was already <laughs> like Yo, it was like when I like pulled that? when I dropped this guy to the next. That went drastic. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, I don't know. I don't bro. know the scene. I thought oh, they're over there. <laughs> I know, fam. Literally, like we yeah, left I'm the bar. We left the bar. Them two are in the back, and it's getting active with them quickly. So it's not even like I really know these things. We just met them at the bar, and but we went outside. Active. And it's for him. <laughs> it's, it's not active for me, the driver. Like my life sucks. You oh, feel? and your driver. It's my car. So we end up driving. So the girl like asked to like go back by her whip. So I dropped her back by her whip. They got out, got in her whip. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, you know, like what's going on? You feel me? Like I'm driver. Yeah, you know, like. And then she heard her body language is kind of like, you know, I'm not, I'm me and her not the same person. You feel uh, me? Yeah. She's res- she's respectful. Yeah, like we just met these girls. It's not like we know them. We just met yeah, them but what remember, an hour like, ago, she, maybe. Remember, she got ready that night with the intention to have some cock in her mouth. But you like, yo, old watch old this. How even, do you know that? No, no. Even when we're in the bar, the next bridge is a little more loose. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, just body language. Oh, that's the bridge. Yeah, talking about the bridge. The bridge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like the they're going, they're chilling with us, but they're going and getting drinks from next man, and yeah, then coming loose, back loose, to the man. But it's like it's being instigated by that friend. They're being you get super what I'm loose. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Around you. Jesus. That's what they're. That's what they're dealing with. So they just kept getting drinks and come back to the man and come back, and then we end up cutting with them. And then the one in the back, she knew what she wanted to do. The one with me didn't really feel the same, but I didn't salt it. I didn't tell my brother, yo, I'm cutting, bro. I'm getting out. You know, like. So you do. Like, you didn't even try to. I didn't to text about, yo, fam, don't take all night over there. Seen? And I just, you know, I just kicked it, oh, smoke okay. a spliff. 
and they came back put all, and like cut. music on or not you didn't try like subconsciously bro like, i tried a one too but like buddy like the girl is not giving me no type of vibe she's basically holding it down for her we're both in the same spot like a lie we have freakier friends than us <laughs> eh? like, like that's basically what we're doing you know what i'm saying and so that like i feel like i so took one for the team in that yeah, one yeah, situation yeah. and i've had like next ones like that where i'm at a party i'm not getting no ass my bread's in the next room and i'm the ride again but I'm like, you know what? I want to want to go. Rough, yeah. I want to go home. But yo, she's kind of fit, and you're getting some play, so I rate that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hold my corner. But again, fam, don't be in there making love. Five star fam. Uber Bredgen rating. I mean, I'm uh, a team player. You feel me? But yo, I'm not plugging the ugly Bredgen. It's just not happening. Okay, okay, okay. So you're not doing it. No, you doing it? <laughs> plugging the ugly Bredgen? Yeah. Nah. Okay, not I gotta, ugly. I gotta, I gotta, if I got a kicker, less with attractive. Her, if I got a kicker, with she's her, not ugly though. I'll take one for the team. I like how that changed. That's different. If she's less attractive, yeah, I'm disappointed. Oh <laughs> but this guy moves crazy with me, bro. <laughs> but your one was better. Mine thing's desk. Like I'm dealing with a yeah, desk thing. I'm not doing that. Like, I don't even like how he did that. Like, she's just less attractive. Yo, less attractive. So when you pull up to the two man function and you realize that your thing's not that one, well, no, because you know it's crazy when you get there and the man says, "Yo, I got that one." Like I didn't even get to look at yet. Like what? He what? organized. You already know he has the best one. Like fam, you gotta take what's there. Okay, so yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't full fucker. I don't even know. So yo, the less attractive bedroom, you're taking one for the team. Okay, boom. Right, that's all I had. Still, fuck. I don't know. You fucked me all up. I, I, that wasn't even my question. I thought I had more fuckers. <laughs> <His question. laughs> so what would you want the bedroom to play just to get some play? Yeah, what was your mood music when you're telling me back on my wood on this strange woman that doesn't know me? Like, what music am I putting on that's, before that's I do that? Crazy Red thing bone. to say. Childish Gambino. Is that your go-to cuz? Really you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. It, it wasn't as deep. I thought you were going to get like deeper. Or like, like nobody by Key Sweat. I don't, so, I don't know. I don't know what you're going for. You know, nobody. you're like, okay. you're since kind of strong. Since we're, since we're on that, like, you know, you and homegirl are both in the same, same situation. You guys are just holding it down. Yeah, just playing aggressive rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do women really like a nice guy? No. No. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Go first. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said no first. I'm yeah, not getting gunshot. That's because you, I just want to hear your answer what, first. Okay, let him go first then. You, you've been summoned, bro. You got to go. Yeah, yo, fam, crazy. they don't say nice guys finish last for no reason. And like, yo, let me tell you something, fam. It's not even about being a nice guy, see? It's about rating yourself. It's about the rating system, see? Got to have the ratings. You got to rate yourself. And the gal will know. Fam, if you rate your girl more than you rate yourself, she'll smell that. <laughs> Weakness. And she doesn't even, she's not even having that, bro. All of a sudden, she's looking for a nigga that cares less about her. Yo. <laughs> That's crazy. So they just like red flags? It's not red flags. It's, it's a man. Not, if, if you don't, if you went, if, wait, wait, if this nigga, for example, she basically said, oh, yo, you who over there adores me, I don't want you. My boy who ignores me, I'm going for But it's the same thing for any, I think it's just humans. I call like, bro, like. There needs to be more context. You don't know, but like, it's the same. <laughs> like, yo, if you summarize it, Yes. Okay, I'm like, what you said this, applies, yeah, but like, oh, there's dude. more context that could be added. You know what I'm saying? Well, you want to add some context? I can add some context. Add some context. Okay, so like, what is the nice guy? Like, what does that mean? When like you are this. categorized yeah, like, as down. the nice guy, what does that mean? And that will be telling of the situation. The respectful, maybe he doesn't... Because I'm a gentleman. I'm like you just told my boy to back out his woods. <laughs> I thought if the situation called for it, back it up. But the nice guy would the nice back guy it out do, like a gentleman. Okay, so would the nice guy do that? Closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. What like what do we all agree is the nice so guy? Are you trying to think? Okay, what no, can, can we describe? So him? hold on, hold on. You're telling me the guy that, that you I, can introduce to the family. Hold it. You you can't introduce me to the family. A lie. What are you trying to say right now, Cuz? Fam, you don't understand. You're trying to tell me, like, bro, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> super nice guy. We're having a great night. See? We're, we're oh no, boom. In my brain, all right, cool. We're making out. We're, we're kissing. We're doing some shit. Yo, level one. I back out my wood drill because... She went straight to level four quick, boom. <laughs> Yo, if we're making out, I might have backed out my wood. We weren't doing that. She was just there. You know I was I'm just saying? here. So you, there was no sudden, nothing. There was I no precursor. I back out my wood drill because I'm thinking it's going that direction. I'm a bad guy? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Possibly. I'm not a bad guy, fam. My intentions were pure. Your, the thing is, you're not a nice wait, guy up, by up. nice did, guy yeah, standards. Wait, That's what I'm saying. You? We have to describe what the so nice guy is. Did you back out and she's fully closed? Or did you just back? Like, was this a mute? Like, both you guys aren't doing things? We're kissing. Just... I'm grabbing breasts. She's doing all type of things. Okay, now you, back, now you back out now. And she's like, hey, it's not that. I wasn't. It's not that type of party yet. 
And put it away. I'll I put guess. it away. My fault. My fault. Read the room wrong. Put that Yo. shit away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that comes in thick, bro. Like, Yo, see, what else a, are you supposed to do? Put a man up. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy to the dogs. That's what I'm about to be like. <laughs> You're a nice guy to the dogs. But for her, she's like, this fucking girl. Nah, nah, no, no, no. She's like, he's a man. I he's just a, wasn't ready. That's Thank not you. what Thank she you. said. That is nah. what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck else does a man do, fam? You Yo, you tell, that's not what she said. That's what she thinks. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what she's going to say to you. But she's like, this guy's a real one. But yo, I wasn't ready for that. Whole time, even, though she, even though she probably, like, you know, you're a wood fucking... Bro, you're a man. Yo, she expects fam, you, you to want pump pump, right fam. Now. Fam, first off, the men are... The so men were not nice guys. I'm convinced. No, no, no. Yeah, by nice guy standards, no. What I'm are not. Nice guys I'm a man, bro. bro. What are nice guys standards? Well, I'm supposed to be submissive okay, okay, and okay. passive. That's what I'm saying. We have to describe so, what is the nice guy. May, may I please have a dollop and some pussy, please? A okay, dollop is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> we've all, we've all said, be like, oh, you're, the, you're a nice guy, fam. You're good. No, 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 no. no, no. Guys yeah. like that. Guy, so why no, no. don't? So what are we describing? Hold so on, what are we describing? We're describing a man, a timid man. A man that doesn't go for what he wants. He sits around and hopes it'll be given to him. And so, but he doesn't assert himself in the situation. That is what uh, the, the when quote, people say quote. the nice guy, that is what they're describing. The bystander. Thank you. A real man takes action. I'm a performer. You can watch. I'm putting on the jersey. Have fun. Like, that's a man. And that's the man that most women want to be with. You know, I think also you're a little <clears throat> like, bro, like, the context that you're trying to drop it in is like a good youth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not trying to say a nice guy. You are nice guy, good you know youth, same thing. Oh, like, so, yo, there's a difference between a nice guy and a good youth. Yeah. Explain. No, they're basically the same thing. Hey, no, 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 no. Let In explain. this context, it's the okay, same. Okay, no, no. But that's what. Okay, but what I was saying was initially. That's why I said good youth sounds like I'm really trying to bod you up. No, no, no. But the way you describe nice it, guy. That's what I'm saying. Don't be calling me that. You know what I mean? Like they're not good. Yeah, I know. But the way you presented it is how I I'm like, bro. You're basically asking like, yo, what makes a guy a good youth? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like yo, it's the same question. You're a good you, eh? Like, you don't pull out your Woodrow when you're kissing. You're a good you. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yo, I can barely co-sign this. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Like we're like almost in alignment, and then you just be doing some yo, extra shit. Yo, and I'm like, yo, yo, I would like to say he's a respectful <laughs> youth. Like, yo, yeah, you're like, a respectful. Now I can't even call side. I'm just like, nah, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Yo, yo, you're a good youth. Eh? You're a respectful youth because being a good youth means like I don't even think a good youth. <laughs> yo, for the fact that a good youth thought from kissing to pulling out Woodrow's is in the same category, he's not really a good youth. Yo, it's crazy because it's like in my brain, kissing is actually so personal and intimate, fam, that it's like, yo, so pulling out the Woodrow's not. It's fucking right next after kiss. We kissed already. That's his that's face to face. I'm breathing, you're breathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm breathing, you're breathing. You get what I'm saying? No, it's a fact, though. So, yo, back to... As a big man, I'm just going to be there on lip service. Like, I'm I'm grabbing something next. Thank you. So, let me show you something. Have you ever had sex without kissing a woman? Yes. Why? (laughs) Guy, I want to kiss them. Exactly, because kissing is personal and intimate, my nigga. So, if we're already doing that, boom, Woodrow Hour. But, but yo, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's wood o'clock still. It's wood o'clock? Quarter past wood. It's happening. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Because, yo, okay, so like... <laughs> He's over there thinking about it. Like, no, I'm trying to be like, okay, yo, <laughs> I don't even know how... To, yeah, it does. Like, the man was real fucked up still. The man fucked up still. <laughs> yo, the man tried to find his way around logic and got lost. Yeah, <laughs> because <Yo, laughs> it makes I'm, sense. Yo, because I'm just like the time, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, like, keep it up, book. I'm, I'm like the time. All right, like y'all think like, the time frames are crazy. <laughs> fam, check your yo, watch, bro. Holy fuck! Quarter past wood, bro. You're running late, fam. Yo, <laughs> why are you not ready? <laughs> like, what are you let doing? Let me tell you holy something. Fuck. She's like, this guy's not gonna back it up. He's joking. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> if that's what she thinks, yo, y'all, please tell not me it's this. No, we have to very least pull off some jaws, do so, expose something, fam. What are we doing? Like, how does sex even? happen like do you do you politely ask okay like, so back is it to, time okay, madam but back to things so yo so like, so good girls do we think good girls like nice guys what's a good girl what's a good girl i mean do we think yo, do what we does think, that even oh, mean okay, that's a good one that's a good that's one. not even a real what thing, is a good fam? girl no, you're, you're your questions fam explain them i don't know fam. A good the girl? same girl that would be considered a nice guy is no a good girl a girl you don't know a good youth and a good girl are different eh? you're a good you you talk to him like yo you're a good you eh? so you're a good girl eh? 
Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she has a retard. Feet. She has a job. Yo, bro, hold on a second, fam. This guy's yo, full blown retard. Yo, your yo, your good girl came with a demon emoji. So yo, explain this. I'm just so you got a job, eh? You're a good girl still. Oh, yo, it's that's crazy. Yo, if a man says so you're, you're a good so you girl go like school, this, you're eh? not good. Yeah, just... first of all, if you curl your lip <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of any sentence, bro. <laughs> Yo. You're socially irresponsible. Like, yo, nobody can't talk to you, bro. Yo. It's not a calm setting like, anymore. If I say, yo, you're a good girl, just know my wig was getting back trying to unlock out. the door, like, fam. Yo. Like, yo, buddy, yo. what the hell are we getting into? Like, oh, yo, man. Okay. This is crazy. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Um, so, so, yo, no, we don't think girls like good, nice okay, guys. Okay, no, no. So, yo, no. Pa, no, no. I'm not even saying that. So, yo, you want to be funny, though? Whole time you're over there thinking you're being super respectful, doing the makeouts and the, oh, you're so wonderful. You didn't even grab her body or nothing. See, so over there, she cuts out the car, calls it this lame ass nigga. Even back on the next or man in, to, after bro. Y'all calling the nigga that's gonna break back. Fam. You have to go for it, still. You have to go for it. Like you're better off going for it and getting rejected than not going for it. She's gonna think you're a fucking Weirdo. waste, man, bro. You know, okay. Let me Why are you there? So on the extreme end of things, but, fam, like, but what if you pull out and she makes you feel like a weirdo? That's right. You're well, kissing. I, How weird can we be? Yeah, you got to already be doing something. In my example, we weren't doing okay, it. Okay, I just turned over and looked at her like a lie. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, all we weren't all touching. All we weren't kissing. We weren't doing none of that. Yeah, if we were just Don't shitting, pull it out. Fam, if you're a buddy that split with her, and you just pull up. So, yo, yeah, I'm you're like, a predator, fam. You're, you're a, a predator, 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 big man. And she should get up out of there. You know, you what, know what I mean? Like, you're like, bugging yo, out. The fans of her crazy. So, you don't rate my wood? Yeah, that's terrifying. You know I'm, I'm not like, gonna you know lie to you. That's, that's a goes, terrifying bro. story. That's not how that one, okay, yo, don't is... make her tell that story about you to anybody. And like, yo, let me also say, like, for every, the audience at home, do not send women unsolicited dick pics. They yeah, don't yeah, like yeah. It. You guys are flowers. Remember, for remember, that. remember. Nudes are flowers for the madam. It's sexual harassment for the women. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can't be doing that. That's yeah, left field. Yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> A, a, a random picture of a naked woman popping up unexpectedly on your phone is delightful. A piece of hard wood popping up on your phone on the yeah, You got to watch how you move. You can't pull it out too early, and you can't be going around just taking pics of your things. I would wait till you... <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just oh, saying. <laughs> All right, guys, let them know. Let them know. Yeah, I'm just that saying, was some vague bro. advice. Yo, make sure there's some physical contact make before sure you pull you out your Make sure you guys are aware of what's happening. Eye contact still might not even be enough. Don't just look her in the eye. Too. Physical contact? Then you okay, can okay. try some things, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. We're mutual, mutual. Physical, yeah, mutual. mutual yeah, don't just think you can touch somebody and put your don't wood just out. Be just, your don't eyes. grab a breast and pull out your wood and be like, yeah, it's go time. <laughs> this is not a two step procedure, fam. It's not, it's not what it is, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, <laughs> over there grab her by her for... shoulder, <laughs> unzip <on>. your pants. <laughs> You will have sex now. Like, no, that's, not like that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Man said the bop. Spin around. <laughs> yo, I'm yeah, don't do that. Niggas. Okay. Don't do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, 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 don't no, say no. we told you to okay, do that. Okay, don't okay. do that. Don't say we told you to <laughs> do, do that. that. No, no. Uncommon sense did not tell you to do the bop. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> we're going to take a quick... We're going to take a quick... Segment break before we uh, move on to more questions because the man, madam over here to make me laugh. It's funny. <laughs> Yo, madam over there making me laugh. Okay, Yo. so now if you notice when I walked into place today, I bought the madam some whiteboards. Holy, right? You guys ready for the whiteboard activity? Sure. I'm gonna need the man in the back out their whiteboards. I need the man in the back out their whiteboards. We about to do, we about to do it. This word, way. word, word. Idiot. All right, madam, good. What happened? Are you, are you struggling over there? Pull the tape There's off. Tape bro. to yeah, it, to still. Tape on, bro. Whatever. There we go. We good. Anyways, so this next segment, <clears throat> it's X's spelling bee. <laughs> this, I is failed. Some, this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I failed already, bro. <laughs> I'm already not fucking with this game, bro. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Off the first question, failed. Okay. So go. basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say some words. And I need you guys to write down in your best Oxford English the plural form of the words that I say. This is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why? <laughs> because it's educational, it's informative, All right. and it's great. Remember how the madam talked about uh, exercise, right? It's exercise for the brain. Got you. Got you. First word, fungus. Madam, write down your answers. I got to pluralize it. Pluralize the word fungus. And I will tell you to reveal. And tell me when the matter we're done. I'll give you a three-second reveal. And when you reveal, I need you to face 
<laughs> well, it's fucked up. I need to see what it is, but I also need the cameras to see what it is. So you're going to show the camera first. <clears throat> They're going to show me, then show the camera so I can see what I'm going See? Oh, sick. We're going to put it on the TV. Bless. Sick. Perfect. I need you to show the camera. I mean, show the board your camera on the count of three. Three, two, one. Fungus was your word. How did we spell it? Oh, see the matter of my bow. Why you guys? Yo, you guys are bow me. The matter of got words. The matter of no words. Yo, okay. I know it's gonna get worse. Yeah. Next word. And yo, write big and enunciate so the camera can see you guys over there writing. You can erase it. Still, it's a dry erase stick. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are good. You guys are good. Moving on. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Goose. The matter of five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Reveal. Geese. Let me see what you got over there, cuz. Geese. Madam are good. Moving on. You guys ready? Smarter than a fifth grader type shit over here. <laughs> Your next word. Ox. <clears throat> the word is ox. <laughs> Yo, the way the madam don't know. <laughs> the way the madam don't know. But like Three. I'm just prepared two, for a... one. Let's see. We have one oh, oxen. I'm not there. Oxes. <laughs> I do not have got... Yo, I see not coming. <laughs> I'm not got oxes. Yo, I thought it was going to be ES if I put apostrophe yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm like. Oh, okay. I'm yo. like, yo, idiot thing. Don't be afraid, yo. If you guys are at home, play along. Get involved. Get the kids involved. Wake up the dog. Talk. <laughs> Wake up the dog. Tell grandma. You know what I mean? Moose is your next word. Moose. The fuck? I don't know. I've well, never, that's a, I have never. Three. Fam, I don't. I never even read this. Two. I'm just assuming. One. Yo, fam, I don't know. I just wrote the word. Can we get a note? Can we get a review? <laughs> I just moose. Yeah, mooses. I just kept it as. I just kept it as. <laughs> Oh, mo it's one of those it's ones. Moose. It's like fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Yo, big up me. Man, yeah, we have game. a one for one right now. We have oxes fuck, and mooses. Fuck this game. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fam, I don't know. What... It's a humbling experience for the madam. I'm glad That's the madam knows. Next word is cactus. Oh. Could we please spell cactus? In three, two, Yo, I don't know. One. It. I don't know. Reveal. Cacti, what do you have over there? Same thing. Ah, oh, the man of no ball cacti seed. <laughs> Yo. Next word. Magic school bus. Your next word is louse. <laughs> lot. Your next word is louse. Louse? Louse. Lou like what the, the fuck is louse? Yeah. It's an insect. I, now you just saying shit. No, I'm no. not, nigga. Fab, so, I've never heard of How am I going to plural pluralize a word I never even heard in the a first louse? place? A louse? A louse? I don't even know what that is, bro. Well, try it out. I don't even know how to spell that. Allah? Well, I need the plurals. I don't even need the singular, so it's good. I don't even know what the singular is. Nah, I don't even like how I spelled that. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm so lost. On the <laughs> Yo, I the don't single, even... the singular version of this word is louse. I need you to reveal your answer in three, two, um, I don't know. one. Please turn your boards, boy. Man, Gentlemen, no, no. please reveal your words. Lausai. <laughs> Yo, I love how the amount of cats, but it's lice. <laughs> oh, that's what that's fucked up. <laughs> that's completely fucked you up. You put louses? I put <laughs> lausai. Yeah, I, I, I did like cactus. Yo, you know when nothing when, when it all fills out of eye. <laughs> Bro, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't oh, even know what that yo. is. A louse is fucking Your next lice. word is aquarium. So it wouldn't be aquariums? That's stupid, bro. Anything other than aquariums is dumb as shit. I can't even spell that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, your text is becoming crazy. Eh? Yo, they are. You guys ready? Three. Two. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The idiot thing, fam. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> You're <a> fucking cat. <laughs> Three. Yo. Two. One reveal. Aquariums, Aquarius. The word is Aquaria. 
with just an A. That's horse shit, bro. That's horse Your shit. next word is nucleus. Nucleus. <clears throat> At the center of every organism, there lies a nucleus. Yo, Doc. <laughs> Hilarious, man. Three, two, one. Reveal. Congratulations, Mitch. You just spelt it wrong, but yo, the intentions was right. I spelt it wrong. Yeah, you put nuclei. <laughs> 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 the e didn't. The yeah. e didn't make it. They didn't make it. Your next word is vortex. Some would call a tornado a vortex. This is the plural version. I need you to write the plural version of the word vortex in three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> I like how no one smelt it, right? <laughs> Yo, let me see. You, yours is vertices. TC. You spelt it wrong. It's vortices. Okay. How, it, vortex. I spell it wrong. Where'd I go wrong? Oh, vortices. V O R T I C. E S. Okay, I C E S. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. See, I got it. All I was wrong. close. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, like and vortex. Vortex. You still pronounce it as vortex. It's what... just spelled different. It's the funny language of English we live in. Yeah, that's yeah, bullshit. Up the whole thing. That's bullshit. So, Final up. word. Are you guys ready? Sure. Phenomenon. <clears throat> I need the mandem to give me the ver the plural form of phenomenon. Three. Two, one. Yo, fam, I can't even spell this. <laughs> God, this is... <laughs> I was like, I was about to put the same thing, it just didn't mean. You, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't. What did you spell? Thing. You know what? I gotta get that to Mitch. Yeah, I, I didn't finish get... it. I didn't finish it. <laughs> didn't finish what it. is that? Phenomenoi? <laughs> Yo, it was about to be a. It was about to be a thing. <laughs> well, right now it's an O and an I. It's phenomenoi. It to... Yeah, fam, it was about to be an A, but it didn't connect. Yo, you guys ever, you ever see Doodle Bob from SpongeBob? When you know it. It's phenomenal. Anyhow, moving on. How'd the man like the spelling bee? Trash. <laughs> Yo, the man, the man I'm upset, eh? Yeah, Trash. I might be in challenge like that. Trash. All right, man. It's all good. It's all good. Sometimes you got to try different things in life. You know what I mean? I Expand like your horizons. Exercise those muscles that don't get used. Is the end of the whiteboard or I'll put it down? You can put your whiteboard down for now. I may revisit if I feel, if I feel spicy at the end there. I'm hot, bro. I'm like, oh, that's Spoiling all these questions and laughing. I'm hot as shit. Okay, okay. That shit, that shit was funny. Now I'm not gonna lie. That was like the best laugh I had in Mitch a minute is about on this to start show. this question. So, Mitch, want to ask us your family alignment of questions you have over there that are all related to one another? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right. You First know what? Question. Shout out, Flo. Deal with Everybody's me. Everybody's getting hyped. Deal with me, Flo. What's wrong with you? Come on, bro. Deal with us. All right. Do you think marriage strengthens relationships? Like, do people get more in love after they get married? You know what the word? Okay, so crazy, crazy, crazy. Do I think marriage strengthens relationships? I think that if you're trying to get married to strengthen your relationship, that is not the way to go about it. I think that marriage kind of like, in my brain at least, like as a man who's unmarried, Marriage feels like, yo, you're just locking in. Like, yo, can, for, like, I don't know if it strengthens the relationship, but coming out of it becomes a lot harder in my brain. So you're, you're locking in. See? In that, I do feel that strength can be discovered and, and like, people can, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 I just, I, I laugh, at least That's we all crazy. laughed at the same thing. <laughs> at least we all discovering laughed. your strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through being stuck with somebody that you can't stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to think about it. That's good at stuff. this point, marriage, I made a choice to commit my life and my vows and everything I got figuratively. Because yo, I'm not gonna lie, like the marriage thing. Don't rush to get married. Make sure you do it once and do it properly. Because after, like, you have three, four marriages, a foolish thing. You're just, you're just, you're fumbling. It's not fun anymore. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? You know what I mean? You're making a commitment with God. You're making all these commitments? Like, stop this. This is Lord of the Rings over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was crazy. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> <laughs> do I think it, 
strengthens relationships? No. That's like almost in the equivalent of like, do babies strengthen relationships? That was a follow-up question. Yeah, yeah. See how I knew what your brain is thinking? That leads into the next question. No, I don't necessarily. I think that, like, yo, your bond with somebody and your connection and, like, the page you're on, I think that it has the capacity. Like, yo, if we're in alignment on the same page and we both see the benefit and the significance of, like, yo, we're going to commit and, like, work through life together, then I think that, like, the vow of marriage will kind of, like, reinstate or reinforce, like, our together, our oneness, our unionship. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, it just, yo... Because they're going to say, like, oh, you can just be with somebody. Yeah, but then, fam, if you're going to be with them, why don't you just lock it in? Like, what are you thinking about? You know what I mean? Marriage kind of confirms, like, yo, this is it. And I'm not saying niggas don't cheat. But what I'm saying is, like, yo, you made this commitment between you and your woman, and this is who you are taking seriously. You should build with this. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think, like, oh, we're married. Our relationship is great now. If you had problems before and you're trying to think of marriage as a way to answer these problems, you're going to have problems after because the problems don't fix themselves through a magical contract. You think marriage will make a man stop cheating? No. No. I feel like he'll tell himself that. I've heard a lot of men tell themselves that. Yo, bro. <laughs> That's yo, crazy. it's fucked up because it's like, yo, really. Like, yo, when I find my wife, bro, yeah, I'll just be a whole different person somehow. It's gonna get no, no, but like, you know okay, what? You know what it is, though? Okay, so put it like, I do think that, like, there is a level of when you find what it is you're, like, say you find what it is you're looking for. You find somebody that, like, all right, boom, I deem this person. I'm going to marry them. I like them enough. Like, I do feel like there is that connection you can find that will make you change your ways to an extent, you will make changes to your regimen, your regular necessary programming. And the changes made will be in order to like basically sustain the relationship you have that you deem valuable. You know what I mean? Because obviously some of your behaviors as a single man or prior to being with the woman you want to marry, they don't coincide. They don't necessarily complement each other. So if part of that behavior is fucking random bitches and you just like that, you like to fuck a bitch here or there on the side. Yo, you might have to stop doing that if you have a woman that's not going to like hey, that. It might, might leave you. <laughs> you might. Well, do you think the average man, like if a man... Is the type of guy he's like a bachelor, he living a bachelor lifestyle, and then he gets married. You think he just puts all that shit behind him? It's just like I nah. feel like if he met that woman that made him like I'm not gonna put anything like as impossible. Like, yo, if you met somebody I'm more so asking probabilities. I I, I do believe it's possible as well. I do right, think so all those things can happen. Right, that's what I'm what saying. What are the probabilities of it? Like, so if you had I always bring things into numbers, if you had ten guys that were living the bachelor lifestyle and they're like, Yeah, I'm about to get married to this woman. How many of these dudes are gonna be a whole different person after? Hold on, no, you know what? No, I've, With no I've, in betweens. What do you mean? No like they didn't do nothing in between because it's like, yo, you just went from straight no, they were just, to marriage. It, it was smut life. Then he met this woman. It's like I rate this. How long have I'm they been married? For this? Your specific situation. How long have you been with said woman? I, I think it matters. However long it matter. takes. No, I think it matters. These things matter, fam. Uh, I guess it does, but at the same time, however long it takes for no, you to get married. Because one understand. man might marry a girl in a year, another man might marry a girl yeah, in three but years. I, but the like, they want to get married. Though, the reason I know? ask, though, is because you're not just going to meet someone instantly and marry them. You're going to meet the. And if, yo, if your behaviors they, change. They, they've been together a year and a half. Okay, and now cool. He's ready to get married. So a year and a half. If your behaviors were consistent with your intentions, so you want to get married and the behavior you've been exhibiting are changed, mm-hmm. like you're no longer living so bachelor mm-hmm. then I do think that, yo, yeah, it's possible. I don't think, I think that. So he, but, so then it wouldn't even be the marriage. He already would have been making different decisions. He would have already been transitioning before they got married. And then when they got married, yeah, he's good I don't to think, go. Yeah, I don't think you go from fucking mad yeah. bitches overnight to marrying and stopping. But then isn't that like the, con- like sort of the concept of like even the bachelor party? It's like the man, we're going to have one last debaucherous night before they well, get they, married. Well, it's like, well, what's, no, no, but what's the purpose of doing that? You know what it is? So it's, Why okay. you order strippers and, and prostitutes because that's, yo, But that's old traditions and customs. Like, really, so I recently went to a bachelor party where it was not like that. Like, well, some, you don't have to, I but I mean that concept. The one where like they're like, hey, it's like a widely known concept. You've seen in the movies like, okay, bachelor party we're gonna get some strippers we're gonna have a wild night before we send you off to your ball and because chain, you know what you know? i think that yeah no no but no exactly that's that. how the madam no, talk no, no. about it no no <laughs> a, a, exactly that though so i think in that sentiment marriage is looked at kind of like a sentence of something right like you're you're relinquishing aspects of your freedom yourself your being or whatever now you're just locking in and and like everything that is debaucherous you are now hanging up because that's supposed to be the representation of fun in our society right yeah, like the, these lustful pleasures. But the, like, I just feel like that would conflict with your your sentiment, where it's like, yo, the man's already making well, that's well, like, actions I don't think before he gets married. I don't necessarily. And this guy's like, no, nah, we're gonna order some strippers. That's, that's two different sets. No, but that's two different. Know? Those are two different points. So the man who wants to get married, for example, and like, for, like I have plenty of brethren that got married. You know, um, 
their behaviors and their changes and they, like the way they lived their life was pretty much that, like when they had their bachelor parties they didn't go and just fuck a bunch of whores or debauchers or something you know what i mean like if anything like one of our regions he went to the strip club and, what got himself a lap dance but it's not like he's fucking whores or nothing it's just like it's just something to do and yeah. i can't say that that's so outlandish because women go to the strip club that's, and lap that, that one's kind of you like, get what i'm saying so it's just like all right it's an activity these are kind of like the traditionary customs around this so I think a lot of people just participate on the basis of they feel that weird social sense of obligation. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. A lot like of right of passage. A lot, yeah, exactly. A lot of guys don't fucking know. Like, you know, and if you were really honest with yourself and it's like, yo, honestly, like, I love the woman I'm with. I'm about to lock into it. I don't want to cheat on her before my marriage. Like, why yeah, would I yeah. want to do it? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's almost contradictory. You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel too. So like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, where I've been a part of weddings and a part of things where that's not necessarily the trajectory. Right, and the same fashion, like women, like you're gonna commit yourself to this man. Why do you want a random man swinging his hood in your face? Like you get what I'm saying? Like if for like the female equivalent of a ba- the bachelorette yeah, yeah. party, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like why am I supposed to soil my relationship or soil the vibration I have connection wise with this person on the basis of one last hurrah? Like you know, like yeah. if you one don't behave temptation. like this, yeah, like if yeah. you don't <laughs> behave like this on a regular basis, then what's the like the need for it? Yeah. There is no perceived need. It's just like I feel like people feel like they're kind of obligated based on traditional standpoints of like North American custom. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't even that. think think about it. Like around the world, bachelor parties aren't like that. People getting married don't necessarily do that. That's a very North American custom. Well, shit, that's really what I'm talking about. I don't know much about other stuff. But I'm just so saying like here. worldwide, like my bedroom converted to Islam, see they're his, not doing that. He's over not over there on the horrid thing. Like, the man just wants to hold a sick reasoning with his regions and, like, the people he cared about that are going to, like, send him off into his journey into the next stage of his life. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, on a more meaningful tip. A lot of people, too, like, bro, a lot of people don't really have meaning going on in their life. A lot of people get, like, meaning and, 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 and like, I don't know, bro. They get shit out of life that aren't really, like, giving. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to you're not gonna feel better, and, and, like, about your wife or your marriage after a whole night of fucking, you know, debauchery with, with strippers and whores and all that. Like, it's so contradictory. It's so polar op- it's so polarizing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That. That's just my take on things. How you feel over there, okay? Word. What was the question again? Sorry. It was, um, like... Do you, well, the original question is, do you think, like, marriage can strengthen a relationship or it can prevent a man from cheating? And then... I think if a man wants to cheat, he's going to cheat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you understand, like, certain... I don't think of putting that... I don't think that's going to, like, putting a, a title does anything Insane, no. to, per, to a person. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. Yeah, but I, I know there's a lot of people that put weight on it. Like, oh, my God, like, how could you do that? We're married or, you know, and it's like... Well, that's because you, you, you went and you took vows. Like, you took the step to... You made a promise between you, her, and God, right? So that's like something like if you're not ready to do that, then don't get married. That's like something I would like, you know, like a man is their word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like so it also should... helps if you're like religious too, because if it's a religious constitution, so like you're supposed to devote yourself to God first and then mm. through your belief in God, you're going to maintain the order in your relationship. Whereas people just get married, in my opinion, because they feel like it's a socially accept, a socially like, yeah, acceptable thing to do. Like, I'm an adult. I'm in a relationship, we get married. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost like you graduate from high school, you go to college. You know, mm-hmm. you're supposed to just follow along with these institutions, whether you're really conscious of it or not. A lot of people just don't want to be left out. So they're like, that's what I'm going to go and do, you know? That in conjunction. Also, a lot of people, like, there's family reasons, right? A lot of people get married because they feel like, yeah, boom, like, my fa- I don't want to disappoint my family. Yeah. This is the way I'm supposed to navigate. Well, right? that's I remember like oh. social acceptance. Or nobody got married in their family. It's the socially acceptable thing to do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. The social correctness of it all. Yeah. Off of that. You have anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little couple more. Wrap it up. Do uh, do the man go on dates with your girl when you have a girlfriend? Do you guys do you make sure that you go out with your girl, spend some time outside the crib, or do you just like stay at home and bond, or otherwise both. watch movies and have sex? A little bit of both. You gotta have a little. You gotta have a balance of both. You can't be outside too much. You know what I'm saying? You got. But can you be inside too much? Yeah, you could definitely be inside too much, and that's when, you know, that's when problems will start to occur. Like, how come? Because now they start feeling like, oh, like, what? Are you ashamed of me? You don't want to take me out. You don't want to show me off. Like women like to be showed off. You know, so you you gotta balance it. Like staying home is just, you know. Sometimes being out too much, it's 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 too much on the body. Let's just take it easy. Let's just get to know each other. No, get to know each other again. Let's just sit home, watch a movie, 
you know, something small. You got to appreciate the, the, the little things in life. You know, going out, we can always do that. Sometimes staying home, especially in this economy, staying home is a flex. <laughs> so, you know, you might want to stay home. How do you feel about it? I feel like you should bring out your woman. Like, sometimes I think that just because you have each other doesn't mean you stop doing shit. I feel like just in general, like, doing activities with people you like, maybe friends, your significant other, I think that's mm-hmm. important. And I feel like if we all, the if the whole entirety of our relationship just takes place in the confines of one environment, just my home or something, that's not a very, like, um, dynamic relationship. You get what I'm saying? And th- in the regard of, like, I don't know, bro. We don't fucking do nothing. It gets very bored. It gets monotonous. And then all we know is reality in the confines of this space. We don't even know how we behave in public. We like each other socially. We do other mm-hmm. things like couple likes things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I ain't even encourage my brethren. It's like, if they're with a girl, they're not with a girl. Like, oh, yo, bring her out or bring her to the function or do whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I, I encourage that because it's like, no, it's not like, oh, fuck, man, why is she? Like, no, I give a fuck. But, like, it's just nice. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 people, people like these things. People like to go out and be like, um, like you said, like shown off to a, a certain extent or like represent like, oh, this is my man. Like, you know, I'm with him or, you know what I mean? Like people like that. There's, there's pride in that. And I feel like um, to, it also keeps things interesting, bro. Like I go out because like, or I'll take away if I want to go out, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, I, I get bored too. Are we going to chill at the crib again and do the same shit? No, let's go eat something good. Let's go do, let's go share an experience basically. Yeah. And I think that, uh, I think that's important because life is about sharing the experience. Or having experiences and then sharing them with those we love or care about. And if we can have these experiences with those we love or care about, then all the better, then all the added bonus. Yeah, I, I think that strengthens that. a relationship too. Yeah, like that that definitely will strengthen a relationship because, you know, you find out, or it, or it could have the opposite, and that could be what ends the relationship. You know, I think like because the reason I ask is like I've heard of like some married couples, like people older than myself. I was talking to like an older person. It's like some of their peers, like they don't. Like, they're married, and they don't really go out like that. Like, they might do things with the kids, but they don't spend time as a couple. You know, like, everything they do is in the house or it's in a, an entire family setting. Like, they don't take time to go out to eat by themselves, go for a drive, go on a little trip here and there, you know? Like, especially after they had kids, they just kind of get locked into that routine, you know? And I just feel personally, like, I agree with you. I feel like even after you have kids and you're getting older, like, you need to maintain that shit that you did yeah. beforehand or else your relationship's going to kind of, like, die. Well, the thing know? is, like, just like everything else, when you you leave something sitting, especially in one place for too long, it'll get stale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It? And I think that when a relationship begins to get stale, well, that's when problems really start to arise. And I think that these, uh, like, even what you're expressing, I think that takes place in many forms, not just things. Like, people grow complacent and comfortable in relationships and just upkeep a routine, which it may work, but it doesn't um, it doesn't promote or, 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 or allow for growth. You get what I'm saying? Definitely not. And, like, I feel like in a relationship, growth individually as well as together is definitely, like, these are important factors, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe, like, you know, being physically active or going out or doing some kind of shit. Like, yo, people need to still live. I don't like when people lose their own identity of individuality in a relationship. Like, in the same fashion, I don't like when women become mothers and now their whole persona is just a mom. You get, you went and got a short haircut and all you That's do is... Crazy. No, no, no. But I see yeah, You just wear the mom jeans. Yeah, like, your whole identity is a mom. You are no longer the individual that you were prior to these There's children. There's no getting sexy. It's just getting comfortable And the thing the about that is, it's like, I, 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 I find that to be... um. Let's say, um, I don't want to say distasteful, but it's just, it's crappy because it's like, yo, that's such a generic, easy, cop out identity to assume. Like, I'm just mom now. Like, no, there's, but what makes you special? Everybody could be a mom. Well, any woman that reproduces could be a mom. Why all of a sudden you got to lose your individualness? Why all of a sudden you got to lose your talents, likes, and passions? Because these kids exist? Yo, let them exist. What do you like to do still? You know what I mean? I think I yeah. think in, in that case it's just a it's a balance. Like they're sacrificing that to be the mom. So it's like they may not Nope, not for me. That's a couple. I, I understand, I, but I, we're I all like... we're also not mothers, right? So it's like I, I think is that that's a conversation or a question that should be asked. But there's but there's women. men that are fathers, right? And they mm-hmm. assume the same role. Like you're just a dad now. So it's this is not a feminine or masculine thing. This mm-hmm. is just, yo, this is the stage in your life. And you're just succumbing to the environment. You're not even maintaining your sense of individuality, like you said. Like, you've lost a lot of yourself because of the new role in your life. You're just a dad. You you're just a husband. That's boring, I think you got to find a way to balance you gotta, it. Right? You got to balance Let it. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. It's almost like being a good youth now. 
all of a sudden you're passive in your own life and you no, assume no, the root. You, you are right. Because no, no, of the passive nature of your of your newfound identity. Mm. You're barely yourself. You just fulfilled that. You're just an employee, a husband, and a dad. See, that's what but the you're dogs not are you. say when they see you. You're a good you now. You're a good you. You're a like, passenger in life. Everything, fam. That's what the nice guy is. The nice guy is a passenger in life, fam. Go drive your car, fam. Stop playing games. Oh, I like that. That's I like what that. it is. But that was you. <laughs> I was driving my car. I just yo, and yo. I wasn't being a nice guy. It was just like fuck. It didn't work out. It wasn't Woodrow clock. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I didn't say man. if you're not the nice guy, you're guaranteed a victory every game. That's, That's not what that crazy. means. But you yeah, gotta yeah, play yeah. the game. That's yeah. what it is. Mm. If you're a bystander, you're guaranteed nothing. Oh man. So. At least take a chance at a victory. You know so what I, I mean? You <laughs> yeah, you're, you're guaranteed about this much, buddy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna breeze through these quick fires with a quickness. See? All right. Let's do you it. guys ready? All right. Let's do it. For the final, this is the final sentence. It's quick fire. Get ready. We got two games for you. One show. Tap in. BMW or Benz? Benz. BMW. Pet draft or pet ostrich? Shit. Draft. Draft. <laughs> Copycat. <laughs> Grow an extra eight inches on your right arm or an extra six inches on your left leg? Arm. Arm. Mm -hmm. Pickles or onions have to go on every sandwich you eat for the rest of your life? Pickles. Onions. Interesting. Would you rather live with Slappy from Goosebumps or Chucky from Child's Play? <laughs> Slappy Yo, from Goosebumps. I'm, I'm gonna stick with Chucky. Slappy's annoying, so he's the little Chucky kid. stabs niggas, bro. I know, but like we're, we're, we're cool. I don't, yeah, I don't remember the first guy. I know Slappy's Chucky. the man. The, the mannequin. You, know, you, know, you never watched the Goosebumps? Ventriloquist. I'm gonna just check with him. Now, right? I'll, I'll show him because Chucky's out here trying to poke people, bro. I don't trust him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pull it back up. Would you rather move to Atlanta tomorrow or Detroit tomorrow to live for the rest of your life? Atlanta, fam. Detroit's poor, fam. <laughs> Man, I'm are sad over there, bro. All they have is buffs. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to rebel? What are you doing? Atlanta or Detroit? I might go to ATL still. Hold on. Um, would you rather every single day of your life be forced to drink a 2-6 of alcohol or 24 bottles of beer the rest of your life every day? You have to do it to go to sleep. I'm bust after that 2-6. <laughs> I'll probably take the beer, so I did that 2-6 so on murder a man. Fam. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go the beer? With, Got you. I'm going to go with a 2-6. Would you rather your wife be 300 pounds or 75 pounds? That's crazy. And she never, she never going to change? No. 75? I'll just, just be really small. <laughs> nah, bro. She's 5'9". <five>, <laughs> Why Big, are you adding height now? You Big didn't say all that before. <laughs> Big Chief Keith then. <laughs> 300. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Low boys. Would you rather only drink milk for the rest of your life or sorrel for the rest of your life? Only drink you can ever drink. Only milk or sorrel? Yo, I hate yes. both You're a it. fucked up guy, bro. I'm going to pick the sorrel, but what's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah, your fate. I'm, just I'm think not, about I'm, drinking it. Think about drinking it all the nothing time. nothing refreshing I'm, about sorrel. I have I'm to drinking, go for a run and drink sorrel. No, yeah, yeah. I'm doing... <laughs> I'm going to take the calcium. <laughs> You doing milk? You milk? <laughs> Milk's crazy, though. It's crazy because I like milk more than sorrel and I don't drink milk. Milk's just not good for men, and that's all you're sorrel drinking. Sorrel will trick you when you're thirsty on a hot day. Okay. <laughs> Final time. Would you rather drink a, cla a glass of ketchup twice a month or only bathe once a week for three months straight? Bathe once a week for three months straight and then it's over it or I got to drink ketchup forever? Once a week. Once a month, sorry. Twice a month. Once every 14 days. You got to drink a glass of ketchup. I'm going to have to hold my fresh... I'm a, yeah, I'll just I'll just be frowsy for a couple months because you're bugging yeah. out. The rest of my life, <laughs> nah, that's too much. You're yeah, playing with yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Up. Yeah. And that's it for Quick Fire. Thank you for participating, gentlemen. Do we have any final sentiments before we end off the episode? I don't got none. You, I don't believe that. We're going back final, to you. Final sentiments, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was malicious, that laugh. <laughs> you could be nice, but don't be the nice guy. That's you know a fact. Right. Don't do that. If you feel like you don't give a fuck, go work out. All right. Don't try to find a substitute. So don't don't take the Lizzo. Nah, you got to be down bad for that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was I going to tell the people them? I think you can be an excellent youth. You can be a good youth still. That's all I got for the people them. You see how the face changed? 
on which you, you should be. Right. <laughs> like <that>. And yo, <laughs> next <laughs> advice, don't make a man curl his lip while he's talking to you. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ready to get aggressive, bro. Don't yeah, let him do yeah, that. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Anyhow, it's your boy X, RPMX on everything social. Castro Nero 88 on Instagram. Money Mitch 54 X Mitch on Instagram. And we are on Common Sense. Like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button at the top there so you're notified every time we drop. Peace. Mm-hmm.